Dr. Valenti is unsure of his patient's diagnosis. She's having a seizure. Two milligrams of lorazepam, stat. And now her affliction is even harder to explain. So now I can add seizure to the list of things that I can't explain, along with fever and an elevated white blood cell count. This case just isn't adding up. She's stable. Feeling better, Ma? Oh my god, what's wrong with her now? She's post-ictal. Don't worry, this is normal after a seizure. I may just be an intern, but I know a stroke when I see one. Dr. Valenti, radiology on line one. Excuse me. No bleeding, that's what I thought. The temporal lobe? When the radiologist told me that there was a stroke in the temporal lobe of the brain, which is far on the lateral side of the brain, it didn't really add up because the temporal lobe isn't typically a portion of the brain the radiologist describes as having a stroke. We usually think of the frontal lobe or the parietal lobe as typical areas where strokes occur. And also is the area of the brain which controls seizures. I knew that stroke couldn't be responsible for this patient's fever. I thought, at this point in time, I think we're dealing with herpes encephalitis. What did the radiologist say? He interpreted the CT scan as a subacute stroke in the left temporal lobe. So I'm right. The temporal lobe of the brain is not an area known for its blood distribution. Then what's it known for? This is the area of the brain which controls seizures. So this would put everything together. Herpes encephalitis is known to cause fevers, confusion, seizures, and it migrates towards the temporal lobe of the brain. I think your mom may have herpes encephalitis. Herpes? Like the sexually transmitted disease? Why would mom have that? She was never promiscuous. Yes, most herpes infections are either genital herpes, which 20% of the United States population has, or an oral infection, which approximately 80% of the population has. I'm not saying that this is a sexually transmitted disease. Many people have the oral form of herpes and they have no symptoms. The virus stays with you for life, can reemerge later, and it can cause an infection and attack the brain. 